Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at Uther. He got a rework with HOTS 2.0 and it's something that I actually really like. He's got some long cooldowns on his heals, but the rework makes it so that as long as you focus and prioritize your healing, you can really keep people up and really mitigate some damage by giving them some armor along with your heals. So I've been tweaking him for the past couple days. I think I got a good build down and let's see what we can get done today with old Uther. The light abandons no man. Okay, we find ourselves on the Infernal Shrines today, or the Punisher map as I like to call it. Our friendly team, Shogal, Uther, Sylvanas, Kerrigan. Enemy team, Samurai, Malfurion, Artanis, Anubarak, and Sylvanas. For level 1, we are going to take Wave of Light. It is a quest that we need to deal damage to 60 heroes with Holy Radiance, which is our W. We'll get into that in a second. And after we do that, we're going to get an additional 1 second of Devotion um, add, which our Devotion, if we come over here... Heroes healed by Uther's basic attacks gain 25 armor for 2 seconds. So we're going to add this up to 3 seconds. It really helps mitigate a lot of damage. Um, I don't know what he's pinging for, but we're going to go Kerrigan. Uh, helps mitigate a lot of damage and makes the team a little more beefy every time we heal them when they get that kind of 25% damage reduction or 25 armor as they're doing it right now. So our Q is a point and click heal. Um, it has a 12 second cooldown, a big cooldown. Our W is that Holy Radiance, which... As you can see, it just throws a line out in front of me. It'll heal my allies when I cast it on them, and it'll damage enemies when I hit them with it. Our E is our Hammer of Justice. It's just a stun, calls down for 0.75 seconds, dealing a little bit of damage. It's going to help us lock some people down. Also with Uther, when he dies, he turns into like a kind of a holy ghost, where he can... Like I took the same spray paint I did. There's my spray friend. Let's stun him. He turns into a ghost, and he has quick heals that he can heal... Um, allies with for a brief period of time, I don't know, 10 seconds, something like that. It's uh, it's kind of nifty, you can really help out in a pension team fight. Sylvanas coming up, challenging here. Let's go ahead and heal her up. Hit both. Stun, stun, stun. Went ahead and used the sippy cup already. Whoop, whoop, whoop. He does not like me. So, the changes with Uther, um, they made him, well the armor thing is, is big, because he was kind of underperforming, making people a little more beefy, but he also, they made him kind of like, missed that heal there, made him like Sylvanas to where, as you can see, when I heal Kerrigan here, it's also going to heal me. So, a little more, not like Sylvanas, but I said Sylvanas, I meant Taronda, a little bit more like Taronda, to where it's more beneficial towards the healer itself. Beefy. There we go. Good stun there. Heal him again. We do have our objective coming up mid lane. These fucking bugs, man. Pushing our thing up. Objective coming up mid lane. It looks like they are positioned for that. We are going to head down. Hopefully the ally team will all be there. And we can get something done. Try to take care of Chogal here. Because he's going to be a big fucking target when we go in. Alright. Coming in. Give him some armor. We're going to stun our Tannis here. Let's see if we can lock somebody down. Alright, Chogal pushing pretty hard out there. Let's go give him some support. We are getting hit. Let's heal Cho. He's gonna heal us as well. And let's drop a stun on Malfurion here. 14 to 9 on the objective right now for level 4. We're gonna take Holy Light and deal damage. Now I can actually cast it on enemies. It does a slight amount of damage to them. Let's see if we can take him out with it. Boom. Um, does a slight amount of damage to them, still heals us. Oh, shit, as soon as I'm getting mana up, I'm gonna heal Cho. Boom. Let him know that. Don't need that many more. Let's cast that. How much mana do I need for that? 90. We're getting there. We're getting there, friends. A few more seconds. Healing Cho Gulp. Four more. Excellent. God, I got no mana to do shit here. One more. Alright, let's get these regen globes. And let's go back. Very well done for the first match. Very, or the first objective, I should say. Very controlled. So we're going to make our way over there so we can actually heal some people up. Let's see how they're faring. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. It is a arcane or an arcane punisher. He's probably gonna jump over that wall. Yep, there he goes. Get invaded just like we're supposed to do to him. Just throw a heal on show, get him all the way up so he can go in and fuck some shit up and see if we can drop a stun. 
seven seconds, we're gonna heal Kerrigan. Oop, no we're not, we're gonna have to heal Cho. No, he's gonna be dead. Dropping a heal on Kerrigan. Big heal. Let's stun Tannis, and let's walk the fuck right out of here. Two seconds on heal. Man, that's a lot of CC. Heal him up. All right, let's go back. So as you can see, that, that healing, adding that armor really helps. It's, it's not the best healing in the world. Is he my favorite support? No, but he's fun. Because um, you really have to have to plan out when you're going to use your, use your heals and on who. Because if you burn it at the wrong time, um, your, your, your team's fucked. Because you're not going to have any support. 12 second cooldown you know, on your heal is, is pretty nasty. Kerrigan going top lane. They're pushing against Cho a little bit here. Not too bad. He's got his eye of Killrog out, so he should be alright. Oh, here they come. Got some stuns. Got some heals. Should be enough to keep him up for a second. Okay, we are going to take Armor of Faith, since they have so many stuns. And that's any time that we're stunned, our heals and all of our cooldowns are going to go 200% faster. That's really going to help with uh, with this Anubarak. And that, as you can see right now, boom, 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 all my cooldowns going down quick, quick, quick. Him up. We are at 33 of our 60. Now 37 of our 60 stacks for Holy Radiance. We are a level up. It is 3 to 2 on kills. Chogal being our only death right now because he does count for 2. Or does he count for 2? Yeah, he does when I hit him with that. That's good to know. Let's top him off. Alright, 13 seconds for the objective. We are going to hit the healing fountain just so we have some mana so we don't run out like we did last time. And we're going to head up top with Kerrigan. Four seconds. Sylvanas heading up. Looks like Samuro is getting some mercs down there, so maybe we can get a little jump or a little lead on this without him there. Sylvie Bay. I can pay for it, friends. I can pay. On, heal down. Nubarak going down. Looks like Kerrigan securing that kill. Excellent. Done. Three seconds. We're gonna heal up Kerrigan. That root, I don't mind it. I get that increased. Uh... Woo! Gotta heal Sylvanas there. And everybody's taking a lot of fucking damage right here. Kill him. Shit. Unable to get a heal out. I'm now out of mana. I think that is actually Samuro on me. Nope. Jogal going down. 13 left. We two of them are dead. Damn. Just me and Sylvanas left. I don't think we're going to get this one. Oh, Kerrigan coming up. Let's roll. Sylvanas going down. Let's see what we can get done here. We are getting close to 10. I think they are going to get this objective before us, though. Let's defend this boy. Yes. Forty-seven out of sixty. Everybody kind of coming back up. This is gonna be a big push on their part. Oh man! Oh man! That's a lot of stuns. That is a lot of CC. Gotta heal him. Another heal. Woo! That uh, that armor mitigation right there saved our ass. Another heal coming out. Level ten. We are gonna take Divine Storm. Let's come up here and stun the shit out of some people. More stuns. Heals for Cho if I can get out of this fucking CC. Woo! Intense. Intense. Good job, team. Let's get the fuck out of here. Good job, team. Woo! That was a little scary. Let's heal up Cho Gall some more. And let's go back. Damn, they did end up getting that. Close fight, man. Close fight. Alright, so we do not have a tower down yet for them. They do have one of ours down, and... Oh, no, it's not as damaged as I thought it was going to be. Front gate down there. They are doing the exact same thing we are. This is going to complete our quest. So now our armor is going to last an additional second. Let's go top. Looks like they want to go mid. Um, I'll let Kerrigan mop that up. We're going to go mid and help the team. They're capping all the mercs now. Ooh, 
Cho, 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 friend. Some stuns out, trying to help him get the fuck out of there. Samurai wasting his all. We do have six seconds until our big heal is up. He is still going in. Sylvanas here. Excellent. And he just ate that stun. Oh, no, he didn't. There we go. Heal. Get that motherfucker. Sylvie Bay gets a heal. Woo! Big juke. Alright, let's go heal up. <laughs> that is getting gross, man. We do have a Nubarak pushing down bot lane. Kerrigan up top doing the same. We are about a level ahead on them. 11 to 6 on kills. Let's get this objective and let's actually do some damage here. Make them hurt. Uh, we are going to take Hammer of Justice Weakens Enemies. It's going to slow their movement speed and their damage dealt by 25% for 3 seconds. So it's just going to help mitigate a little bit more damage on people that are fucking up our tanks or anything like that. Let's heal up Sylv here. There we go. Oh man, Shogal's going ham. I do not have a heal up. That is big, losing him. Yeah, we're, I think we're all going to go down here. I don't know why they were so deep right there. Heal ourselves. And let's just get the fuck back. Yeah, I don't know why they were so deep right there. Without me or without Phil. Try to mop this up. this from pushing that down although they're gonna get it with the punisher anyway that that is unfortunate that we're in trouble here yeah we're in big trouble here Ooh, that's good juke oh man i'm in trouble jogal coming in we need to back the fuck up Because they were, we're playing really sloppy. We were playing really well at the beginning. Now we're just sloppy as hell. We're all over the place. Focus, 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 friends. Damn. There we go. I'm silenced. I'm rooted. Come on, 200%. Increase. Fuck. Overextended, man. Going on beyond that gate. I don't know what we're doing here. Flushing the game down the toilet. Way too sloppy. Still already on the core. Pushing all the way up. We went from being like two levels up to being a full level down. Kill this fucking thing. Back it up. It is dead. Now we punish them. Get some mercs. We should take this mercenary camp. Stay with the team the entire time. So Gaul's gotta stop getting out of position, man. These are a good camp to take, because if they're left uncontested, this guy just keeps spawning these dogs, and they can actually push down bases and go towards cores and do do some significant damage. It really causes them to respond. So we're in a tight spot. Hopefully we can get our head out of our ass as a collective team here and we can come back because we're making the kills, man. I mean, we're head on kills. We're just, we're too spread out. We're not focusing together um, and we're out of position when the objective starts. So as long as we can get this back together, we can make good pushes here. Turn this back around. Stay positive. We do have a tier two down, which is unfortunate because they are going to have catapults pushing that. Let's get these... All right, we're going to take tears. Hold on, friends. Hold on. He's fucked. No, oh, I'm silenced, but I'm going to stun the shit out of you. Stuns for days! There we go. Here we go, friends. Going to get Sylvie Bay a little heal here. Excellent. We need an objective to pot. There we go. Like it was listening to me. Clear this up. So now, 
all healing received is increased by 40% for 6 seconds after I hit uh, my friends with my W, which is pretty big. What, what do they have pushing? They have the dogs. They have the dogs, man. We gotta go take care of that. Um, Cho's going to handle that. Okay. Like he heard me. Come on. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. This is a... Arcane Punisher, so we need this. Artanis is down for the next eight seconds. Hopefully Cho'Gar can get something done over there with... Shithead. And then get back over here. Anybody need topping off? No, everybody's full. We're doing fine. Halfway. Cho'Gal's coming back. Feeling good, friends. Feeling good. Alright, here we go. Popping everybody off. Let's get some stuns out. Try to heal Cho up. Come on, two seconds. Here we go. Alt up! There we go, team! Good job. Let's push the shit out of this. All of them are dead. Heal up, show. We do have mercenaries or minions pushing in on our core. We need somebody to go handle that. Um, looks like Sylvanas has hurt them back to go handle the mercs. Yep. Excellent. They are still down for another second. Hopefully we can get two ports out of this. 34 seconds on our ult. We are pushing up towards level 20. New Brat coming in. Where are we? Where are we? Silence, silence. Come on. Heal Cho. There we go. Cho's healed. Getting some kills here, friends. Go. Eight seconds on our alt. He'll show if we can get to him. Let's win the fucking game. All right, divine hurricane cooldown um, is what we are going to take. He'll show. Oh, let's win this shit. Good job. Throw a heal. Boom. There you have it. A um, little dicey there, man. A little dicey. Got a little sloppy, but team pulled it together. Nobody got salty, and uh, well done. Very, very good round. Um, I think it really shows the damage mitigation. Hey, look at that, too. MVP is Uther, 6-0. and oh. um, Can't argue with that. Holy shit. So let's go over to the stats, and let's go over the build real quick here. Um, let's see if people are going to vote for me. I'll vote for myself, because that's that's how we roll. That's how we do it. So, we'll go over the build again, and we'll go over the stats. And that'll be that for today. I think I'm going to do a Leoric video next. I used to find him really boring, but ever since Hus 2.0, he just seems so powerful. Um, so, let's take a look. We went 6-0. 26-12 to 12 with the team. We did 32,000 Siege, 22,000 Hero, and 53,000 Healing, which is way more than their Malfurion's 37,000. Uh, for the talent build, we took... Wave of Light, which uh, you damage 60 enemy heroes. And it increases the, the duration of your devotion by one second. Um, Holy Shock, we can use it on enemy to do 50% of his healing as damage to them. And it also cracks our healing on us as well. Armor of Faith, while being rooted, which was really good for this. 200% faster um, cooldown or recharge on our uh, on our basic Q heal there. For level 10 Divine Storm, it's going to stun enemies for 1.75 seconds and do just a tiny bit of damage. Then Well Met, which is going to increase the damage mitigation of our stun by reducing the damage that they do for 3 seconds after we cast it on them. Tears Deliverance, which is going to increase um, healing by anyone hit by your W by 40%. So this is really good. It's not just your healing. If you've got like a Brightwing or you got dual healers or something like that on there, crack this shit on them and it's going to keep them up for days. And finally, Divine Hurricane. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you did. We're up to over 50 subscribers and I can't thank you guys enough for watching. It feels so good to know that people are enjoying the content I put out. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. More to come soon. Um, until then, peace.